I decided to make a carved pumpkin this time even though it's not the Halloween season. It was fun and I hope you enjoy making it too. Please subscribe and leave a like if you think my tutorials are helpful. Let's begin. Shift A to add a sphere with 16 segments. Shade it smooth and check auto smooth. I'm going to scale in edit mode and use proportional editing to shape the top and the bottom. Let's select this loop, duplicate and separate to use later for our stem. Now go to top view and alt select every other loop. Control B to bevel and alt E to extrude faces along normals. Let's press Ctrl 2 to add a subsurf. I'm just reshaping using proportional editing. We'll make the handle next. Go into edit mode. Scale and F to fill, then check or deselect and scale again. Select all and extrude. Control R to add some loop cuts and start shaping the stem the best you can. Use scale and rotate and press Alt Z for X ray mode when necessary. I'm going to set the origin to geometry and place it.
Let's take some time to refine the shape. For the carving, we'll start with a single vert and extrude. Select the last two verts and press F to connect. Select all and click on the auto mirror button. Shift D to duplicate a vert to make the nose. Do the same for the mouth. Select each part separately to fill and select all to extrude. Again shade smooth and check auto smooth just in case even though we're gonna just use this as a bool object. We have to add a solidify modifier to the pumpkin first. Turn on x-ray mode for better view. Apply the solidify modifier and select the carving object and shift select the pumpkin. Press ctrl minus for a difference bool. Click on fast if it doesn't look right. Let's hide the cutter to see better. I'm gonna convert both objects to mesh to apply all modifiers. Press O for proportional editing and move some verts around for somewhat non-symmetrical look.
I already have a backdrop and some lights set up. I recommend saving your own start file with these extra stuff so that you don't have to set them up every time you model something. I'm gonna adjust my camera's orthographic scale. I'm also going to unlink the HDRI file I've set up since I won't be using it for this project. Let's change the backdrop color to darker gray and go to render view. I'll have to increase the light power because we don't have the HDRI environment light anymore. Change the render engine to cycles and add materials to the pumpkin and the handle. Shift A to add a point light inside the pumpkin. I'm going to duplicate one of the area lights to have three area lights total. There is no right or wrong way to set up lighting. It all depends on what kind of look you're going for. Play with all the settings like color, power, and location. Increase the point light power and see if you like that better. I hope you had fun making the pumpkin. It was pretty easy to make wasn't it? Have a great day and see you soon with another tutorial guys. Thanks for watching.